welcome to aminacademy.com in fluid mechanics let us discuss about total pressure and center of pressure in log gates log gates are the devices used for the changing the water level in a canal or a river for navigation it is two gates it has two gates each gate is supported on two hinges fixed on their their to and top and bottom of their ends now this is the picture for uh, log gate now we'll do some example problem regarding log gates example the ends of gate abc of a lock are 9 meter high and when closed include an angle of 120 degrees the width of the log gate is 10 meter each gate is supported by two hinges located at 1 meter and 6 meter above the bottom of the lock the depths of water on the two sides are 8 meter and 4 meter respectively find resultant water force on the each gate reaction between the gates a b and b c the force on each hinge considering the reaction of the gate acting in the same horizontal plane as resultant water pressure here this is a plane view of the gate and it's an elevation now let us start the problem height of gate height of gate equal 9 meter inclination angle inclination angle of inclination equal 120 degrees now here now let us find here theta means this theta will find like it i call 180 minus 120 divided by 2 gives 30 degrees here this uh, bc inclination to the vertical of the plan width of lock width of lock is 10 meter therefore width of width of each lock equal means here width of each lock will find by half of 10 is 5 over cos 30 therefore we can get it this l which is equal 5.773 meter depth of water in upstream in upstream equal that is keep it h1 equal 8 meter same depth of water in downstream put h2 equal 4 meter here depth of water is 8 meter here downstream is 4 meter now now we will calculate one by one here first one water pressure on upstream side water pressure on upstream side we will calculate like uh, <coughs> f1 equal rho g a1 h bar which is equal where uh, now we will calculate a first 
a is l into h1 that is 5.773 into 8 which gives 46.184 uh, meter and h bar equal h1 by 2 upstream height by 2 equal 8 by 2 equal 4 meter therefore we'll calculate f1 equal f1 equal 1000 into 9.81 a1 is uh, 46.184 into h1 is 4 therefore f1 we can get it 1812.26 newton 1816.260 newton which is equal 181.181.2.26 kilo newton water pressure on downstream water pressure on downstream water pressure on downstream is F2 similarly you calculate rho g A2 H2 bar then here we can calculate rho is 1009.81 and a2 a2 equal 5.773 into 4 downstream is 4 height and and h bar is 2 or by 2 then we have this equal 4530 by calculation 45 45306 y newton which is equal 45 Four five three zero six five therefore four five three point zero six five kilo newton. Then second the second is a reaction between the gates A B and A C reaction between the gates. A, B and A, B and A, C. That means we have to calculate here reaction between the gates A and B is by using A, B and B, C. We have to find the reaction here. Is uh, given by the equation f by f by 2 sin theta if already we have now from here we have to find resultant water pressure this one Before that, here we have to find resultant water pressure force equal F1 minus F2, which is equal 
1812.26 minus 453.065 equal 1359.195 kilonewton. Then reaction between the gates A, B and A, C is F by 2 sin theta that is uh, resultant force we have 1 3 here uh, one three five nine here one three five nine point one nine five one nine five one three five nine point uh, one nine five over two sine thirty two sine thirty is half two sine thirty is equal half into one is half into two is one therefore it is one three five nine point one nine five kilonewton next force of each hinge force force of each hinge we will calculate force of each hinge is uh, RT plus RB equal R. Now, now here R equal or equal to P equal one three five nine point one nine five therefore R T plus R B equal one three five nine point one nine five kilonewton the force the force F one is acting at h1 by 3 because uh, it treated treat as a pressure triangle uh, here treated treat as a pressure triangle here and that cg of is one third of h from the base that is That is H1 by 3 equal 8 by 3 is equal to 2.67 meter from the bottom. From bottom and F2 is F2 at H2 by 3 that is 4 by 3 equal to 1.33 meter 1.33 meter from the bottom from bottom therefore resultant force the resultant force will act at a distance let it be will act at a distance of x from bottom therefore we can write f into x equal f1 into 2.67 minus f2 into clockwise and anticlockwise 1.33 
3 3 therefore from this we will got x equal f1 2.67 minus f2 1.33 over f equal uh, we have 1 8 1 8 1 2 point two six two point six seven minus four five three point zero into one point three three over f is one three five nine point one nine five by using calculator we'll get this value is uh, 3.116 is approximately 3.12 meter and hence hence r is also resultant is also acting at a distance acting at a distance of uh, 3.12 meter from bottom therefore taking moments taking moments about the bot taking moments of RT RT and R about uh, bottom bottom hinge equal you can say RT into 6.0 minus 1.0 equal r into x minus 1.0 therefore rt we have r rt equal to r into x minus 1 over r t equal to r into x minus 1 over 5 because 6 minus 1 is 5 which is equal r is 1359.195 into already x is 3.11.11 minus 1 over 5 which gives 573.1 8 Newton that is RT then we can find from that RB equal R minus RT R minus RT R is 1359.195 573.58 gives 785.615 kilonewton. So we got, we have done. Please subscribe our YouTube channel.